Pudding has more power than she knows. As you can guess from the title I am gonna talk about the end of WCI and how in my opinion, Oda already gave us big clues about it. However, I am not gonna predict who is gonna defeat who. What I will be talking about is one of the final scenes in WCI. But first bear with me while I lead you to the final moment. What I want to start with is back in chapter 828 and more specifically the introduction scenes for Pudding. When Pudding covered for Luffy and Chopper, all the present shish and Pudding talked about Sanji and how great he is and Pudding description of Sanji was spot on. He was kind and a gentleman. His eyes being shaped like hearths. Pudding specifically stating that he knows a lot about making sweets. He taught her few things. Pudding saying, I am sure he would protect me. But there is a big but in here because this description of Sanji raises several questions, because up to this point of the story Sanji and Pudding haven't met. 1. When did Sanji and Pudding meet? 2. When did Sanji teach Pudding to cook? 3. When did they have time to share all these hobbies and interests? Let's keep that in our mind and focus on the next key moment that I want to point out. This moment is forward in the story where Pudding and BM talk about Pudding's third eye and the hint that it should possess special powers connected to the voice of all things. However, from what I have found and what we have seen in previous arcs I don't think this is the only power that the third eye might give. If you remember not long ago the op community had an idea on Pudding's DF and a lot of people were speculating that she might have a time manipulation DF because of all the clocks present around Pudding and all the panels that Oda drew. Then after her memo memo no MI was reviled everybody dropped the idea completely, but I don't think that we were completely wrong, we just misread the situation a little. In my opinion the clocks were actually a hint towards her third eye powers. In many cultures there are stories about the third eye being the symbol of the true vision which is most often connected with the power to see the future. And as we know time and in this case the clocks represent both the past and the future, if you think about it, her DF let her see the past of a person and maybe the third eye can let her see the future, if that is true then the speculations about putting having powers related to time were not completely wrong. And I know, up until now I am just having speculations with no proof about it. So let me present you what I believe to be several very solid arguments supporting my theory. If we go back to the first key moment where I have pointed how Pudding is describing Sanji very precisely we can actually see from the latest developments in the manga that almost everything that she said came true or is about to come true. First one is that Sanji was very kind to her and being gentleman, both of these situation were verified when Pudding met Sanji for first time and during the wedding when he brought her to tears with a single compliment even though he knew that she is lying. Second one is when Pudding stated that Snaji is strong and he would protect her and he already did that during the wedding and most probably he will do it again during the baking of the cake. But what is the most interesting part is that Pudding specifically pointed out that he is good with sweets and that he even taught her something, this is happening exactly in the latest chapters where they are baking the cake for BM. Plus the way that Sanji is bossing around everybody he is probably about to show them how they can do things better and faster. Not to mention that Sanji said he has a surprise for BM in relation to the cake. These situation played out exactly according to Pudding's description. But probably now you are questioning how is Pudding using these powers to see the future? Or is she actually hiding her powers from her family? So I want to clarify here that it seems that Pudding has no idea that she is using her powers. What I can from the information until now, Pudding is most likely using her powers during her sleep, dreaming about these events. I have reached this conclusion because of certain phrasing by Pudding. In Chapter 828 Pudding is indirectly explaining to the Shish her relationship with Lola and knowing Lola's character we can imagine for sure that they were having girl talks about how should their Prince Charming look and so on. But what strike me the most is that in the next moment Pudding is stating clearly quote unquote and along came Sanji. He was so wonderful I thought he came out of one of my dreams. This really proves the point that she was dreaming about the moment when her Prince Charming is in front of her. 
Up until now in the series we had people reading or seeing the future. Madame Charlie with her crystal ball, Hawkins with his cards, Katakori mastering hockey, so what are we missing? We are missing a dreamer. Person that reads the future while asleep and dreaming. So in my opinion Pudding is a dreamer able to tell the future but she doesn't know it yet. Hopefully I managed to convince you until now that there is such possibility and it is time to bring the most exciting thing about this theory. Seeing that all moments described by Pudding are coming true I searched further to see what else did Pudding stated and I have found something very 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 interesting. During the first encounter with Pudding, she shared with Shish that Sanji told her something in their meeting which I already mentioned they didn't have up to that moment in the story. Pudding stated quote unquote, the truth is, in the end he shared something with me, I really wanted to marry you. But I can't. I've gotta return to my friends. And they are standing in a beautiful field with flowers and rainbows which really resembles the style in WCI. It's perfect end moment to resolve the relationship between Sanji and Pudding and could this panel be a flash forward panel in one of the ending moments of WCI. I think it is. But that's not all guys if that certainly is a flash forward panel do you notice that around Sanji and Pudding there are a lot of hills clouds rainbows, structures and flowers but none of them as a homie? Could that mean that BM has died or lost her powers for some reason, or homies are just not drawn in this case? And I know some people will say that Luffy already said that BM is gonna be next after Kaido and there is no way that BM will die or lose her powers. But everything in this arc is about controversy, in one moment we receive confirmation about something and few chapters after everything turns 180 degrees. Could the unresolved issue about Mother Caramel, BM and her memories play some role for BM losing her powers since she didn't acquire them by the typical way of eating a DF but eating the DF user? Asterisk theory by capped underscore naked panda. Here's the YouTube version.